All right, we're here. Uh, we just closed on our very first Airbnb, so let's check it out. Come on in. <laughs> Our first Airbnb. Welcome to our foyer with the nice marble floors that need cleaned. Spacious living room with our fireplace. And check out these huge windows here. We got the cherry hardwood floor throughout the downstairs. Kitchen. And dining area here. Don't hit your head on the top. Kitchen continues. This kitchen. Dual oven. <laughs> dining room. Game room. Not sure what it's going to be yet. Back to the entrance. Go upstairs. All right, room number one. Nice big bedroom with a big walk-in closet. Yeah, this decent size for not being the master. Has a window in this closet. Just in case you ever get trapped. <laughs> I think this will be the kids' room. We'll put some bunk beds. No, this one isn't? I think there's a smaller one. I think he's wrong. One bathroom over here. Whole bathroom. It's cleaned. Linen closet. Poor towels. Nope, I was right. That is the smallest room. Dang it. <laughs> yep, I'm right. I knew it. Room number three. Oh, it's all it's pretty washed out here. Nice size room. Definitely nice size space. I haven't been in this one, right? The master. And I believe this is the master, which looks a lot smaller without the bed sitting Or the here. main bedroom now, they say. So we have the master bath with a walk-in closet a nice vanity here to do your makeup ladies and a full bath ready to rock and roll the view of the backyard here check out our sled riding hill out back. Nice area here for a table, maybe a hot tub one day. You got a leaf blower in the background. Have some nice fruit trees over here that are growing. So let me tell you how we uh, kind of got started in this Airbnb investment. Um, I was looking for something different, um, like I've told you before. I don't want to do the same single family in the small hometown I am. I want to try something different uh, with bigger returns on investment. So I signed up for a class um, on Airbnb and uh, I was nervous. I've never really educated myself. Um, I read books, but um, never put this much uh, money into a program uh, or time and um, here's a picture of me and my wife that night we first sat down and did the live session 
and kind of got our feet wet with this um, short-term rentals. So I think it paid off, um, but let's see. So I'm always on Realtor um, looking for deals out there and um, it's really hard to come by. This is not 2008 um, when things were just hitting MLS and um, everyone's afraid to get in the market. Everyone is getting into the market right now. Um, things are going um, within hours of them getting listed. Uh, they're going above and beyond the um, list price. Uh, contingencies are getting thrown out. Some people will waive any home inspection, which is crazy. Um, at these price points that I'm looking at. And also people will waive um, things like the appraisal gap. So let's say you offer 200,000 for this house and it appraises for um, 100,000. Then you are responsible to come up with extra 100,000. That bank is not gonna look at you and say, yep, because you waived it. And uh, some people, I don't know if they just have that much money or they don't care. Um, but yeah, I think that's crazy that you're willing to put um, $100,000 into a house that isn't even appraising for that. One of my favorite markets is Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We've been going there, I don't know, probably started 10 years ago. And um, a $200,000 cabin, um, people weren't buying. They were not buying a $200,000 cam uh, cabin. And in 19, I started looking, 20, I started looking, and that $200,000 uh, cabin is now 500,000. And in today's market, it's around seven, 750, even more for three, two. Um, and I think that's just crazy. Inflation, COVID, um, the shortage, everything is, is making these prices crazy in my, in my eyes. Now, in a year from now, is it going to be a million dollar house? Maybe. Um, could it go down? It could. Um, it's never going to go back to the 200s, I don't think, in my in my opinion. It, it, it will, you know, the saying is what goes up must come down. Uh, and we're just going up and up and up. And eventually we're going to plateau and then head back down. Uh, it just cannot sustain um, these type these types of numbers. So I started looking at national parks and state parks and um, I started looking at New River Gorge National Park. It's the newest national park. So I thought that might be a good location. Um, found a house and um, lost the bid on that house. Um, they wanted the best and highest offer and I, I don't like that. So um, on October 24th, we went down there and looked at a house. It was listed for 225 and here's a picture of my daughter um, playing in the the front tree there um, so we were standing in the kitchen and um, remember this time there's multiple offers everything's going above asking and for some reason um, it wasn't really the case with this house yet so we offered 215 um, and the agent um, said she'd call us back so we were just kind of hanging out and we're at the gas, ta uh, gas station filling up ready to go back home and she called and said, uh, it's accepted. So exciting. Um, so we had a house under contract. Um, so doing a lot of research, uh, working with the bank. Um, we put the 10% down for the vacation house. Um, and then this town that I'm in, we had to get a short-term rental permit or rental, rental permit. And on December 6th, I had to go to a town hall meeting. And again, I'm not, I don't know anyone there. Um, I had to kind of plead my case. I had to send letters out to the neighbors saying this is what I wanted to do. And um, they basically said, um, is there parking? And I said, yeah, there's plenty of parking um, because we got a long driveway and at least four car uh, parking. And they said, all right, you're good. So I had to pay my fee the next day and I walked out with my um, permit. So that was pretty exciting. So December 20th, uh, closing day, we went down there. Here's a picture of us, very excited. Um, we got the keys and we went right over there and that's when we filmed uh, the clip of us touring the house uh, for the first time as owners. So again, uh, this is a big risk that we're taking, um, but, but I think, I hope it works out. We'll see uh, when we uh, start running this out, see the numbers that it's producing, see if it's gonna cover our expenses. 
uh, see if there's any profit on this uh, ex uh, gamble. Um, I hope it. I hope it does, but we'll see. But I will say that it is fun having your like a vacation house, and you can go down, and it's a new environment. Uh, everything's new about it, so it's really, really relaxing. You just get away. It's so peaceful there in uh, West Virginia. There's so many great hiking spots and the rivers there. So many things to do that we haven't even found out yet uh, that we're excited to. But um, I think it's going to be a, it's a it's going to be a win no matter if it makes money or not. Um, but yeah. I would like to do a video one day of setting it all up, um, everything we had to go through, everything we had to buy, um, and how much money we invested. That will be a video coming out, and then a follow-up a year later to see what our cash on cash return is, if it's positive, negative, um, hoping it's positive, but we'll find out. And um, But yeah, so talking about the process of getting the permit, getting utilities in your name, you know, electric, water. Um, internet I had to find the provider down there setting up our smart locks um, our cameras and um, all that but it's all fun it's exciting uh, building something here and I hope you enjoy the content make sure if you like it subscribe and we will see you on the next one take care everyone